A while back I did a video which demonstrated Quake 1 running on an NDR4000 running at 200 megahertz with the XZ graphics option. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating Quake 1 running on an ND fitted with an R5000 CPU running at 150 megahertz and the XL24 graphics option. So I'm quickly going to open up the folder for Quake. And start Quake. I'll close the folder quickly. And open the window up. Okay, and if you watched my last video and compared the window size that I was running Quake in compared to this video, you can clearly see that this machine does run better than the R4000 version. So Quake seems to be rather playable on this machine, but in a windowed mode, of course. And considering the machine is performing at this level with Quake running in software, I wouldn't even want to try and run GL Quake on this machine. But having the game running in a software mode in a window, the machine is capable of doing it. So from this video it should be clear to you that a Silicon Graphics Indie fitted with an R5000 CPU running at 150 MHz and the XL24 bit graphics option runs better than an Indie R4000 running at 200 MHz with the XZ graphics option. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and quit Quake. Thanks for watching.